So what we have right now is a local instance of ChatGPT, which we ran on our personal computer. And we also extended it with MCP tools. We are allowing this local agent to, for example, search through internet to find the information that we are asking for it. This makes it very powerful. It's almost like ChatGPT itself, but you are not paying any subscription for it. You are just running it locally for free. I'm just going to go ahead and ask who created the heat movie. Let's wait for the response. It should understand that it doesn't have the information. It should go to the MCP tools, search the web for it, get the information and then answer us. Hopefully with the correct answer. Okay, so here is our answer. It's saying that Heat 1995 was created by Michael Mann, which is completely correct. Hey everyone, Nariman here, welcome to my channel. As you might know, GPT OSS is out now. It is the local version of ChatGPT, which is one of the most powerful LLMs out there. Now you can run it locally on your personal computer. And today I want to show you how you can create agents with it, how you can integrate it with MCP tools, and overall how you can leverage it for personal use. So please be with me for the next uh, few minutes. As you can see, it's already top on the popular models on Olama, so you can easily just install Olama on your personal computer and then pull this model. I will show you very soon how you can do this. And what I want to do today is integrate it with Tavili using MCP. So this ChatGPT is running locally on your machine, but it's going to be much more powerful if it can access internet and if it can search through different websites to find the necessary information for you. So I will use Tavili for that, which is like some search API which is optimized for LLM use. You can just go ahead and sign up here and then you will get an API key which for 1000 requests per month if I'm not mistaken is completely free. So you can just play around with it without paying anything. So I would encourage you to do that. But there are also different uh, alternatives. For example, DuckDuckGo search has a Python client which doesn't even require API key, you can use that. But I will use Tavili and the coolest thing is that it already has an MCP server. So you can see that if you connect to this domain, which is like mcp.tavili.com and then you can add your API key here and then your agent would easily connect to it and then you can just use it. So it's very convenient. Let's go to the IDE and I can show you our dependencies that we are going to use. I'm going to use Langchain to talk with Olama's model, which is GPT OSS. I'm going to use Langcraft to create a React agent. We are going to use Langchain MCP adapters so we can connect to MCP server for Tavili. And we are going to need fast MCP as well to again be able to talk with MCP servers and also async IO because there will be some async programming going on. So these are my dependencies inside the requirements.txt file. Now I will show you how you can install them by going to the terminal and notice that I'm already in my projects directory. I'm going to say pip install dash r then find your requirements.txt file and then hit enter and it will install all the dependencies for you and one more thing you need to make sure that you are already have olama on your local machine you already installed that and then you can just pull the new chat gpt model you can say olama pull and then gpt dash oss and then you can define how big your model can be i'm just gonna pull the smallest one which is like 20b and then you will hit enter i already did that so i don't need to do it right now but yeah that's something that you need to do and one last thing you should define your 
Tavili API key as an OS environment variable. So I'm going to say env Tavili API key. And then you will enter your API key here, whatever you got from signing up from their website. And then you will hit enter and it will be fine. Of course, I already did that before as well. So I'm not going to do it right now. And with that, our project setup is complete and we can go back and start coding. So let's go back to the IDE. And then let's create a Python file. I already did that, but not much going on in there. For now, I only defined my API key, which is reading from the environment variable that we just defined. And then I also created a Langchain chat Olama model, which is using GPT OSS. So the first thing that I need to do, I need to create an agent. And when we are creating an agent, we need to provide it with necessary prompts, models, also tools. So in this process of creating this agent, we also need to define our MCP tool and give it to our agent. Then the next step would be create a simple UI for it using a streamlit and then allow the user to interact with our agent. So from the MCP package, I need to define a, a streamable HTTP client. And then how I'm going to use it here is I'm going to say async with this one. And then remember that I showed you that uh, Tavili's MCP client is hosted somewhere behind some domain. We are going to just paste that address here. So the streamable HTTP client can connect to that. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy it, bring it here and paste it. Then I'm going to just format this string to use my API key like this. So what will happen is that when the application is up and running, it will read my API key from OS environment variable and then put it here every time that it wants to communicate with the MCP server. Then we are going to unpack this to read right and the last one I guess we don't need I hope you can see this because it's gonna be a long line yeah I guess you can still see it then we have our a streamable HTTP client we are gonna create also a client session with this read and write as session this should be also from MCP package Let me, yes here then of course we are gonna await for session to be initialized now we have a session next step would be to load all the MCP tools and there is where Langchain adapters would help us langchain mcp adapters then there should be tools and then there should be a method called load mcp tools i'm gonna use that i'm gonna just call it it accepts a session i'm gonna pass the session that we initialize and this is also async so we will await on it and this is my tools i have all the tools that I need to create my agent. Then I'm gonna use Langgraph's pre-built package. There is a method there called react, yeah, create react agent that will allow you to easily create a react agent from Langgraph. This one only requires model and tools. So our model will be GPT OSS and our tools are going to be Tavili, which allows our model to search through internet and get all the information that it needs to answer your question. Let's just return this in our code and 
that will be our setup agent method. Then we need also a very small method which is called create agent because this is only needed uh, because we want to integrate our agent with a stream lead and a stream lead is using this event loop and using async methods with it has its own uh, dilemmas. So I'm just gonna return, let me just import async io, async io dot run and then call setup agent. And that's it. So if you are not gonna use this agent with a stream lead, you don't need that. And also there are many solutions on the internet how to use async and async IO methods with a stream lead. Maybe my solution is not the best one, but yeah, just uh, be aware that we only need this to integrate it with our stream lead app. And then we can start writing our UI because we are basically done with setting up our agent. I'm going to say, let's just import a streamlet. And then I'm going to say, I don't know. Let's just give it a title, local chat GPT maybe. Then we need to ask for the user's input. Asking for example, yeah, interior query like this. And when I got the user's query, I'm going to say if query, then yeah, create the agent. This maybe even can be here. Then invoke our agent with the role user and say, hey, user asked this question. Then we will get our response. We are just gonna write it as markdown because sometimes LLMs give you answer in markdown and it's prettier. But why we did this? Because LangGraph agents responses are a list of messages. It's saying, for example, the user asked this and the AI answered this. And sometimes even some interactions with tools would be in here all the handoffs that we are not interested right now. So I'm going to only get the last one, which is the AI message and then print its content for the user to see. So let's have a final look. Yeah, you know what? I think this also should be here because when the agent is returned and wants to use this MCP tool, I think probably with these blocks, our tools uh, like resources would be already closed. So I'm gonna maybe also move this stuff here. This should be here. And it should create an agent. And now that we are in an async block, I can just call this asynchronously and then await for it. And just return this. And I think that's better. And I can call this, for example, answer question. Then it will take a query as parameter. And then this also actually this can also be answer question and this one can be answer question async this is better naming I guess and we don't need this anymore so we'll get the query we will call this We'll get our, let's call it maybe answer again. And then we will just write the answer to the user. I can also add some logs. These logs are usually very helpful for me when I'm working with React agents from LangGraph. There is a, yeah, pretty print. 
that exactly tells me okay this is AI message this is human message this is tool call so if something goes wrong I can easily see what is the problem yeah and this one should be answer question async so we are calling async io that run the async method and then streamlit would call it with answer question okay then I would suggest let's just run it see how it's working and if there was any problem we can come back and fix it to run the streamlit app you need to go to the command line and then you just need to say streamlit run and then you need to specify your python file and go ahead and run it then you will have a window in your browser something like this so what we have right now is a local instance of ChatGPT, which we ran on our personal computer and we also extended it with mcp tools we are allowing this local agent to for example search through internet to find the information that we are asking for it this makes it very powerful it's almost like chat gpt itself but you are not paying any subscription for it you are just running it locally for free i'm just gonna go ahead and ask who created the heat movie let's wait for the response it should understand that it doesn't have the information it should go to the mcp tools search the web for it get the information and then answer us hopefully with the correct answer okay so here is our answer it's saying that heat 1995 was created by michael mann which is completely correct and i can show you exactly what happened under the hood with those useful logs that we put in our code so if you go back to your command line you can see here that was the final answer that the AI gave us and we are showing that to the user but before there was a tool call all these long texts yeah you see there was this tool call to Tavili that give us all of these results about the heat movie so the LLM could give us a very precise answer using those information so yeah that was it I hope you enjoyed watching this video, please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe me for more content like this. See you around.